Good morning, folks. We've got some space weather, a weather watch for the coming week, and three excellent articles on the sun, climate, cosmic rays, and the magnetic pole shift. Starting with our star, we find a low level of activity with no solar flares, the southern coronal hole and surrounding filaments turning in, solar wind is quiet at the moment, and the top watch remains the incoming sunspots on the north. Spotted a touch of decay the last 24 hours and hopefully that continues today. Fingers crossed for no umbral development between the larger cores as that would instigate flaring. Good news as we haven't seen any thus far. Folks, we've got to watch the western Atlantic this week. A low-pressure cell is expected to strengthen into a tropical storm and will tread slowly north before hooking around and heading towards Florida. Models can change phenomenally over the course of just a few days, so both the strength and track are subject to shift, but that's why we'll be watching right now. Models predict impact to Florida on Thursday, so we'll have eyes on this one as things progress over the coming days. Hopefully it doesn't make it through to the Gulf to re-strengthen, but that is within the possibilities at this time. We begin the articles with two papers on the sun, cosmic rays, and climate. Cosmic ray cloud studies have taken a big leap forward in the last few years, with several studies demonstrating their modulation potential and the resulting impacts on the climate. This is just one of the ways that the sun and its modulation of cosmic rays affect surface temperatures, precipitation, lightning, and overall climate conditions. Good bit on the cloud nucleation processes in there as well. Lastly today, got a lot in this paper. It continues the long line of studies showing how the ozone depletion during magnetic pole shifts like the excursion we're entering now are major issues for climate and direct biological impact. It also mentioned a NOVA event that impacted the Earth during the last disaster cycle, which they still want to claim was from far away, but which was much more likely a micronova from our sun. Since it wasn't just the light energy that reached us, but the NOVA level isotopes as well, which would have arrived a million years after the light if it had been from another star hours later if it was from the sun, which is the timeline in the geologic record. Sniffing out truth wearing a costume there, alongside more direct ozone and biosphere impacts of the magnetic shifts of Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about these topics at the links below the video to our books and playlists and more. Reset your clocks today, reset the country on Tuesday. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.